goes on and on. We're ready to get jiggy tonight on the ice. Great energy in the barn this evening, and we are officially underway. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Brazic. Well, this is just a great save from the slot area. I mean, he recognizes where that puck's going. He gives the top of the net, but he takes it away. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Chicago's won the defensive zone draw. Tara Bynum's carrying it ahead. Works it across to Bertuzzi. Handles the puck at the point. Nice save off the tender's pad. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. Handles the puck. Here he is, shot in front. Big time stop there. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the faceoff. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Textbook hook trick by Jones. Anaheim's got the puck. Sends it over to Strom. The Ducks play it along the wing. Quick pass to Vetrano. Off a twig. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. And that's poked away by Vakaninen. Feeds it on over to Gudis. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Ducks played along the boards. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Handles the pass at center. Poked away in the defensive end. The Ducks have played the puck from behind the net. Pumped away! Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Blackhawks win it. Moves it quickly over to Hall. Big time save by Gibson. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Moves it to Hall. Passes over to Kurashev. Takes a shot. Great save by Gibson. Both teams readying here for the face-off. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. Tries to get it over to Terry. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Ducks are getting two minutes for tripping. take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Passes it over. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the young side of the post. And somehow he hangs on. Shuts it down. Well, that puck came hard and it came fast and it came multiple times, but he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. Reichel's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Anaheim's got the win off that draw. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Slides the pass over to Bedard. 
And he passes it up ahead to Reichel. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Minchikov. And a great save! The Ducks will play it in their own end. Great reach by Felino. Here's a shot! Scores! A power play goal! Well, I really like the deployment of this power play, James. And let's face it, it is a privilege to be on it. And there's internal competition. The best way to stay on it? Score a goal. Well, this power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical. Yes, got to start with the puck. If you want to find a way to get the shot to the net, and it winds up in the back of it. Chicago's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. Well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded it, they had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. Here's a short pass to Tara Heinen. Drives to the paint. Here's a chance. Walker's saving a good one at that. And the defenders come up with the puck. From the left side, takes the pass. Gauthier's got it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Gudis. And that's a great heads-up play by Bertuzzi. And that's knocked away by Vakanainen. Pass right back. Quick feed to Kalor. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Takes the feed. The Blackhawks cross the line and gain the zone. Grabbed along the board by Dickinson. A chance. Oh, it's stayed out. It's stayed out. What a save. Oh, that's all real. And this is going to elevate his team. No question about it, James. I mean, it was all but in. And then he comes from nowhere to make that save. I love this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible Save, we just yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you gotta embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Moves the puck. Dumps it in. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Fowler's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Strom. Oh, what a save in front. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Donato. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves it quickly over to Lundstrom. Puck dumped in. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Gets it over to Donato. From the point, they take control of it. A chance! They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, the shooter does a great job of recognizing how much room is available in the net, but it's all about the goaltender. He drops to that butterfly position and isn't able to get his glove hand up quick enough. Chicago's taking a 2-0 lead here in period number one. Well, this is the start they wanted, James. They can hold on to it and go into the first intermission with a 2-0 lead, all because they've opened up lanes, and every time they've had an opportunity to take it to the net, they have. Terry's got it in the offensive zone. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Moves it to Hall. Puck sent over to Afanasiu. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And makes the save. Anaheim's got the puck. The Ducks gain the zone. From right out of midair, he bats it down. A chance in front, and that's stopped. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Chicago's look great thus far, leading here late the first period. And they win the defensive 
own faceoff. Tries to get it to Tara Heinen. Poked away by Terry. Gain momentum up along the side. He's in front. He scores! What a goal! Well, the goalie's dropping to the butterfly because he can't see the puck. I mean, they work on tracking exercises all the time, but you can't see it when you've got bodies in front of you. So this is a smart shot that makes its way to the back of the net. Glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's stolen by Bertuzzi. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Gibson's been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build your team from the goaltending position out. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Denies him in close. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. That's blocked. Quick feed to Tara Heinen. And loses possession after a solid hit. Jumelin's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Dossier. On the attack along the boards. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Picks off the pass. Shot! And he comes up with it. Morazic's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head in focus in the game. Chicago's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Comes up for the goal save! And the puck check. Oh, smart play. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. matrano has got the puck in his own zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Crimes him with the glove. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Slides it across to Matrano. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Takes the feet in a whole lot of trouble. Picked up along the wall by Murphy. Handles the pass. Chicago's moving the puck through center ice. Takes a shot. Cut into the club by Gibson. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 2-1 game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Dumps it in. The Blackhawks gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Slides it to Foligno. The Ducks take possession here in the open ice. To the low slot! Scores! I got two words for you! New game! Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. He's in a high-danger scoring area. He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away. So a quick snapshot, and he buries it. ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Ah! 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 Ah!
Chicago's won the faceoff at center. The Blackhawks have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside the road end. Tim toes around the puck check. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Good set, frees the puck up. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. So much time and practice working on D-zone face-offs, and this is exactly why coming off an icing, you win it and you have the opportunity to get out and get a change. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. Feeds it to Bedard. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Oh, keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Bertuzzi. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Now a quick pass to Gauthier. Shot! Blocked in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck grab by Vlasic. Taken along the wall by Bertuzzi. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Oh, what a great save by Gibson. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Blackhawks win the draw. Here's a shot. Gibson's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Dickinson's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Rips it, and that's blocked. Well saved made by Gibson. here inside the offensive zone. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Passes it to Strong. Into the offensive end now. Dishes it off. Just gets enough to keep it out. Picked up along the boards by Felino. The Ducks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And that one's picked off. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends it down low. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Martinez. Moves it to Dickinson. Shot! Answers it with an even better save! Here's a shot! And there's another stop! What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. Tavish has won it off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Kalorn. Sent into the offensive zone. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Great reach with the poke check. The Ducks have played from the defensive zone. Dishes it to Kalorn. Broken up by Korczynski. Sends a pass over. Here they come on the attack. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves into the slot. Grabbed along the boards by McTavish. Hammers the shot, and that goes off a of body. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck over to Gauthier. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Here's a chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there! Officials are set, players seem ready for the to get this 
thing back underway. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Made that stop. And he's ridden off the puck. Moves it to the middle. Block shot. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than four Players are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. And that's offside, stopping the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck picked up by Vlasic. And that's poked away. Picked up along the wall by Jarabina. Oh, he got paddled by Gibson. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. With possession along the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes the feed. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick feed to Fowler. The Blackhawks have the puck now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gibson's able to put that puck to the corner and it really keeps the puck at harm's way. No second shot opportunity. Scooped up along the wall by Fowler. Anaheim's moving it up the ice. The Blackhawks take over on possession. Right on the doorstep. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Passes the puck over to Strom. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick shot. Takes the pass from his goaltender. The Blackhawks play it along the boards. Takes the whack, but still hangs on. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. And it's kicked away. Here he is in close. Glove saved by Gibson. The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Feeds it over. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Morasic. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Blackhawks have the puck in the corner. And that's broken up. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he makes the save. Gibson's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. Huge steal in his own end. Sends it ahead to Murphy. Great read, comes up with it. Slides the puck over. Makes a save! Gets a piece of it with the ball. Everyone knows.
spots that they need to get to and get off a quick release shot. Great goal. The Ducks now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crunch time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it, continue to apply the pressure. Slides it back to the blue line, and he takes the feed. The Ducks grab possession to the puck. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Great read with the stick. Chicago's got it along the wall. Anaheim's got possession here in the neutral zone. Centering to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Murphy's moving it ahead. Jabs the puck away. Takes the pass. Quick pass to Lundstrom. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Vlasic. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight, the game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. The Ducks are on the attack. Pass to Vlasic. And it's a quick pass to Hall. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Slides it across. Retrieve it. When you're a butterfly goaltender and you drop into that position, it's all about playing your odds, making yourself as big as possible, and covering as much of the net as possible, James. But the shooter has a different idea. Great shot, it's accurate, and it finds a hole. Anaheim's extended the lead to two goals now in this third period. Oh, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. I think everyone can exhale with that two goal cushion now, but it, it's also about Listen, if you have the puck, your opponent doesn't, and they can't be a threat. And now he moves it quickly to Fowler. Takes it to the net. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Kids in front. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Fires it on net. Handles that one. From the left wing, takes the feed. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Athanasiu is close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Receives the pass. Quick pass across to Athanasiu. Gibson's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Steps in and takes the puck. Anaheim's across the blue line. Well, if you want to be out there at the end of the game, you got to make smart decisions with the puck, and that's one right there. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's gonna be a call right there. Penalty coming up here. Gauthier's called for tripping. He's off to the box. The Blackhawks once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and then is it working tonight? And they get that puck down the ice. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. And now he passes up to Reichel. Puts it on net. The Blackhawks gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Oh, what a blocker stop on that. Gibson's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. And he takes the dish. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Big time stop there. Taken along the wall by Carlson. And he keeps possession. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. And he sidesteps the check there. Comes 
up with the stop. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. And it's turned aside by Gibson. Aggressive play with the puck check, and it pays off. And the Hines back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Late in the game when they're up by one, and they close and shut it down. Awesome job by everyone to figure out how to get it down the ice and kill some valuable seconds. Here's a backhand! Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight! The Blackhawks play the puck from the back of the net. And now it's grabbed by Terry. A shot at the empty net! Misses! Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Jones takes the puck. Passes it over! He scores! What a little puck left for the play! attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net they have the advantage and they use it perfectly they're all over the ice they're all over the puck coverage is running and they bury it Chicago's offense and struggles have been the story tonight lots of chances just not a lot of results won the draw center. Nice side entry from the right side. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Gibson. Morazic's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. A shot at the empty net. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Anaheim's offense came out like gangbusters, then they kind of took that away and just kind of defended the rest of the night. Yeah, I think the offense dried up Salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Well, that'll bring it into an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody. <laughs>